హలో ఎవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు కోడింగ్ బోల్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ నవీన్ తమ్మిశెట్టి సో టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ షో యూ హౌ టు ఇంటిగ్రేట్ సచ్ ఫిల్టర్ యూజింగ్ హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ అండ్ జాబా స్క్రిప్ట్ విత్ ఫ్యూ లైన్స్ ఆఫ్ కోడ్ ఓకే సో దే విల్ బీ మోస్ట్లీ దే విల్ బీ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ లైన్స్ నాట్ ఎ మచ్ కాంప్లికేటెడ్ ఫంక్షనాలిటీ వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ వీఆర్ నాట్ డూయింగ్ ఎనీ కాంప్లికేటెడ్ కోడ్ హియర్ సో బిఫోర్ జంపింగ్ టు ద వీడియో ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ న్యూ టు దిస్ ఛానల్ ప్లీజ్ డూ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ and uh, click on the bell icon uh, to get the latest notification whenever i post new videos and please add comment for the further videos whichever you want and uh, please um, uh, help me to cross 1 1k subscribers i mean 1000 subscribers so so coming to the video i will show you how uh, this filter will be working so i want to filter only with the name names only not with the currency or the code so whenever i enter like euro so see i uh, it was uh, retaining only the euro euro record okay if i remove this and uh, it will be back to uh, the 16 records i only have 16 records here so come so coming to the video uh, here um, one second so here uh, i have a simple html code here i have a script file where i have only 16 records this is a, a static data like uh, i have uh, um took it from a, one of the page um it doesn't it have only 16 records so i'm using this 16 records to uh, to display this table data this uh, this data so okay so let us jump into the coding part so welcome back to the video so so let us jump into the coding part so before that uh, what we need to do is first uh, we will go by step by step so first we will display table you know, html table here so anyway we already have some data right array of object the this is a static data which i have uh, copied from one of the json website so i just wanted to show the short uh, less data so i have took care on 16 records so you can take according to that and uh, yeah first we will go with um, onload function so directly we can uh, um, call call a function to display the html table but i don't want to do that uh, on the initial time so for that reason i'm i'm using a uh, onload function i'll create a onload function okay there i will only run one time itself so this will be a display table data table data function this is the function name okay so inside this function inside this function we will we will uh, do a for loop to display the table data which of the currency data we have we will show the data inside this this function okay so um yeah before that we will we will declare a variable another variable to display the data to assign the uh, to create a reference reference array okay what we will do is uh, um, table array is equal to this is the type array and what we will do is we will assign this this currency data directly to table array in the onload itself okay before calling to the calling the display table function we will directly assign it here itself okay what we will do table array is equal to currency currency data so this was uh, this data has been assigned to this reference uh, array okay here what we will do is we will run a for loop so i already have this um, for loop thing it is an a um, you can pass my video and you can uh, write down this code or you can ping me directly on instagram for the code also so uh, right now i don't have any website for the backup code uh, i can drop a mail to you uh, feel free to ask the code okay so this is the code uh, for the html part html uh, table to display the data 
so what i will do is i will just replace the name of the object name itself okay just use the relevant names so what i have i have i wanted to show only three things one is one is the serial number the second one is the name name of the currency the plural okay this these three things i wanted to show so those three things i have given here one is serial number one is name second is code and the currency name okay i will save this but it doesn't work we need to give a html object we are what we are doing here is we are taking a h we are creating a recreating a dom and again we are reassigning the dom we need to reassign this dom to a html so i have an id called table so what we will need to do is we need to give a div with the id table okay please refer to my previous video if you are a little bit confused of this uh, table thing okay so i will save this we will run this okay there is some issue let me check table okay yeah we are not calling this onload function so we need to initially call this onload function okay now i am saving this yeah see we got the 16 records okay so the first step is over so the second step what we need to do is we need to give a input field such input field so that we can filter out the filter out whatever the names which was entered in the search box okay so for that we will go to the html first again we will give a uh, input field okay so here we will give input input field with id id is needed so i will let you know why we need this id just to capture the value value which was entered in the input field so again we will give a class just for the css part uh usually i don't like plain text so i use good css okay again name name is much needed to avoid the errors or uh, overlaps so again um, there will be another part so we don't want to use on change okay on change will take time or end after enter it will work i don't want like that i don't i just want to um uh, get the data while typing itself if i enter us then it should uh, return only us us name which was uh, present in this table okay for that what we will do is we will use on key up okay you can you can check the events javascript events what is key up what is key down usually uh, key up is uh, most un, uh, updated one it uh, i mean uh, it is one step ahead okay you can change you can check the differences um in google you can search it what are what is the difference between key up and key down okay i'll write a search with name okay so this is yeah we got the html okay okay there is no change because we haven't given any function and we haven't integrated any function so for that what we will do is uh so uh, i have already created script.js file right so here we will write a function called on change okay function as i said you like we will close it with only two to three lines of code not more complexity will be there in in this code okay so so i have created the function here we need to first capture the data right whatever the data i have given here i need to capture this data right so what i will do is i will take a variable as such keyword okay this will be empty as of now we need to capture and we need to reassign that uh, value right whichever it has been entered i mean whichever has been entered in the input field so we'll take this such filter such keyword is equal to document dot k 
get element by id and what is the id name which i have given here this is the id name it will uh, refer the value will be referred here in dot value okay this is the value and yeah coming here what we will do is we will write a if condition okay first we will what i need to do is inside the if condition if if text keyword is zero if uh, nothing was entered in the in the search filter then i want to just display all 16 records all the 16 records i want to display so for that what i will do is i will again call this function i mean i don't want to call this function i just wanted to reassign the same thing okay to the table array i will uh, let you know why i have why i am using this okay in the else condition i will write a filter okay what this filter will do um table array it will just return the return whatever has been entered i mean whatever has been filtered out okay current data dot filter i am using filter method you can see in my previous videos i have done a filter method video also how it works and here i am using a arrow function and here i wanted to just take the name okay name dot to lowercase okay the name which i am entering which includes 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 in such keyword and again if if the user is entering capital letter or small letter also i need to check so for that i need to again write a to lowercase okay this is how it works but but i will show you the catch so if i enter us and enter nothing is happening right so whenever we are filtering and reassigning to this object this uh, array we need to again call the display data function display table data function again it will be the data has been refreshed again uh, the latest data it will show the latest data latest data in the table html table for that again we need to call this function so see how it works okay it got refreshed if i enter us us so if i enter the us it is returning the us us text which is present in the name okay if i enter usr it doesn't it just checks the uh, side by side text it has us in australia so it returned us also so again uh, why i have given this zero if text is zero so we are searching something and again you have cleared this again you need to display the 16 records so for that i have uh, given this single line not only for uh, on load itself or uh, something else if after every search if, if the text was removed then we need to again show the remaining 16 records so for that reason i have given the again i am reassigning this data to the table area okay this is how such filter works we just use it um few lines of code and again we integrated the such filter so feel free feel free to um, ask about the code so you can ping me in uh, instagram at the red coding ball or uh, you can mail me just drop a mail to uh, at the uh, coding wall at the red gmail.com so there i can share you the code as i said you already i don't have any uh, website to store the backup the code reference code and please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please help me to cross 1k subscribers so thank you very much have a nice day